So listen, here in Atlanta, it's this station called 102.9, and they pay like all the old school jams. I don't know why, but just one day I just put it on this channel, and I have been rocking out ever since. And when I tell y'all, it's like a little bug in here. I'm going to get him out. But when I tell y'all I love this channel, and it's like right now they playing that Give It To Me. Give me that funk, that sweet, that, that's that good. You know, y'all know give it to me, but anyway, happy, happy Thursday to all of y'all who are watching this vlog. So, y'all, y'all gotta give me a round of applause because I know I've been doing really good with being consistent and putting out two videos a week. So, you know, I'm very, I'm very much feeling myself right now. I'm very proud of myself. So, long story short, I'm leaving the post office. One thing I hate ever since I moved is I am so far from... I'm being dramatic. I'm not so far. It's just where I was just living at in my apartment. I was like three minutes away from the post office. It's only one post office here in Atlanta that like closes at like six, seven o'clock. All the rest of them close at five. And so long story short, y'all know I be working. So it was like an incentive, honey, to be able to come drop y'all pages off at six, seven o'clock because I will be off work by the end. But now that I live a little bit further out, <clears throat> I kind of got to leave the house early which kind of sometimes cut into my off time for work and make it here but today i got so lucky i literally got here at like 6 15 and they so happen to still have um this case out the casing that you put all the packages in so they haven't even taken it to the back is basically what i'm saying so i got lucky so i'm so happy um those of y'all who ordered y'all shit is on the way but um just to fill y'all in i was supposed to go get my nails done um y'all know iman do my nails but um Again, this is the only thing about being in like further away. It's just, it's just gonna take me. I, I have to go to her on the weekends. If I'm not getting my nails done on the weekends, I'm not gonna be able to go to her. And so I'm literally like maybe have to cheat on her just one more time. Um, this Iman didn't do these. I had to cheat on her because, like I said, to get to her house from where I live at now, it just be it be a hike. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm trying to be you know find stuff that's more within convenience right now but anyway saying all that to say that's what i was going to do today but i'm actually going to do that tomorrow instead what i'm about to do now is y'all know panama jane y'all love panama jane she is performing today so we're about to head to a performance of hers yes y'all it starts at um seven so she basically told us to be there like around 6.50. So I got a little bit of time. I haven't ate today because um, I just honestly have been grinding, like hustling. I had kind of put on Twitter. Um, y'all follow me on Twitter if y'all want to see some random stuff I be talking about. But I had got on Twitter and I had made this comment. And basically I said, um, this bug still is not out the car. It's like, I want you to leave. Please. There you go. He got out. But long story short, I, I put this out on Twitter and I said, um, my kids, like my future kids are going to say, damn, my mommy was a hustler. And hustling, you know, sometimes can have a negative connotation to it. But hustling is not a bad word. Hustling is just all my life. I have worked multiple jobs, did multiple things, you know, tried to make multiple incomes for myself. And um, it's not easy, y'all. And I and I get so overwhelmed all the time. I cry like I be borderline depressed sometimes um, because it's a lot like trying to juggle so many different things and then you want stuff to be clean you want stuff to look a certain way that's how I am like I'm very big on stuff looking good I know a lot of people who do a lot of different things and none of it's organized they just be doing anything and that's just not me for me anything I put my put my time into I want it to excel I want it to be clean neat you know that's just how i am so that's what overwhelms me because i don't like to just throw stuff at the wall and hope it sticks if that makes sense but anyway um like i said i hope you guys um had an amazing week thus far it's father's day weekend and i will be celebrating um the men in my life who have children so i'm excited about that so um yeah let's go ahead and pop off this vlog i tell y'all i'm trying so hard not to die a slow death 
because I still have not ate, but I made it. So Giselle ended up pushing her show back um, a few minutes. So now I'm finally here so I can see. Ooh. Yes, I made it. Ooh, they like, Aisha, yes. I was on two wheels. Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to come back when I get to her. One time for y'all, so we made it. She is about to perform. It's about to go down. I want to get too close because the music is doing what it's supposed to. But everybody's here to support. I'm so glad I made it, y'all. I was on two wheels. I just would have been so mad if I hadn't have gotten here on time. But I'm just so, <laughs> I'm just so glad I made it, y'all. Y'all understand? Like when I tell you, I have not ate all day, and it's and there's so many food places out here. But I just said, you know what? I can wait ten more minutes. Oh! Please, you made it. <laughs> How you doing? I thought you was gonna be late. Whoa! <laughs> Me and Tweezy, Tweezy had to go to the south side. Miss my legs, my tire, my oh my god. I'm, 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 made. I'm, 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 made. Not made. Made. No. Made it. Made it. You just got here. I literally just got here. As soon as she go on, I'm going over here to give me something to eat. I haven't ate all day. Me, I'm starving. I had something earlier, but it was nothing. I was just over here. Get my jeans. And then it got busy because the tattoo event. So then, yeah. I mean, it's oh, cute because yeah. I know the payoff gonna be nice, but. Yeah, the payoff is gonna be nice. Uh, I'm I saying, I had me a cute little smoothie oh. at nine o'clock, and then I just ate like two dumplings within the last hour, and that's all I ate today. Oh my God. So it's a miracle I'm not on the floor past the oh, Exactly. Yeah, girl, I got you. I got you. Thank you. <laughs> I like uh, nice uh, Me too. <laughs> 3,000, 3,000. I'm not paying that much to get. Okay, so it's the ramen for me. I have not had ramen in so long, so I cannot wait to try this. Sweezy got his. And, and Sweezy think everything good, y'all, so I honestly can't even take his word. She cap. He thinks everything she is good. Everything is not good, especially in Atlanta. Well, what that tastes like? This is actually hot hot. <laughs> <laughs> this is, um, it's actually pretty good. It's like, he got the chicken one. Oh, it's actually good. Just need some salt and pepper. But outside of it, like, oh, Lord. it's more hefty than the um, Jinya. It is. It looks like Yeah, it. like Jinya bowls be small. I don't know if they got the same size, but it's definitely bigger. Okay. Yes. yes. How are you liking your food? So I had the spring rolls. But they're gone now. <laughs> they're good. They're busting. And I got the spicy chicken dumplings. So I'm ready to try that. Okay, 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 okay. I like the chicken in this too, honey. We see. <laughs> when I 
be saying Tweezy need everything. This is what I be talking about. Why his plate look like this? Well, it don't even look like nothing else in here. But they got that bulk choy and they can keep that. <laughs> Sweezy, what? Sweezy, what does Scorpio look like? Sweezy, what does Scorpio look like? No, it don't. It look like this. You see, it look like this. That's it. Wow. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Y'all have it. In that case, it's Aquarius. Everything. Hey y'all, it's Aisha Cousin. And if y'all know anything about Aisha, y'all know she got everything. And if y'all ain't shopping, show them the everything. Okay. If y'all ain't shopping, y'all see. Cause how you everything without Aisha everything? Girl, yeah, get we got, the we got fuck special coming up. Here. Stay tuned if you know what's good for you. <laughs> What's poppin'? So, um, I am headed to a 99 in the 2000s party. So, um, I really kind of found out about it last minute. So, with that said, I was like, I'm just gonna wear, I'm just gonna make it look as 99 and 2000s as I possibly can. And I think my outfit is cute. Y'all have seen this fit before. Well, if you've watched my Brazil blog, then you will know this is another everything production. Let me show y'all how it looks. Whew. This is the outfit. It's gonna be stepping. I think it's giving 99 in the 2000s. And you know, I got my black standard shades. You know, back then it wasn't like too many options. So I think I look kind of cute. Then I got these two little ponytails. I feel like the girls is wearing their hair like this. Um, so yeah, this is the look guys, but I'm about to head out. I just need to, um, put that back up there and then I need to change my purses. So I'll be wearing my Balenciaga bag tonight. So, um, I just need to put my cars in. I am going to go meet Tweezy and Ashley there. So we'll be hanging out tonight and then Big Daddy is home, so I can't be out too, too late. So I'm just going to be there for a little minute, and then I'm going to come at home, child. So, yes, I just wanted to show y'all my fits. I hope y'all had an amazing Friday because my Friday went really, really smooth. So, anyway, let me take pictures in this fit because I will be selling this on Juneteenth. So let me take pictures, and then I'm about to walk out the house. Oh! Just having a blast right now. It's going live. It's going digital. We had a 2000s party, and it's litty. This camera's so close. He's lying. He's lying. It's not that close. It look close. It's not that close. Yeah. She looking cute. She look like 2000s. Everybody look like 2000s. Yeah. 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 First of all, guys, um, let me turn this air down so y'all can hear you, girl. I did not realize that that party was gonna be so lit. I'm not gonna lie, like, when I first got there, party wasn't talking about nothing. You hear me, honey? It wasn't talking about Nathaniel. But all of a sudden, it started going up. I was like, okay, and y'all know me. Y'all know I love old music, I do. Like, it's my favorite, even over, like, rap, like, music i love me some anything that came out in the 90s 80s 70s 60s 
I'm obsessed. So like um, they did more so 2000s and honestly, I mean, did I say that right? 200,000s? Y'all know what I mean, honey. Um, 99 and the 2000s. Yeah, the 2000s, yeah. Continue they did straight. the 2000s and stuff. Um, so that was cool too, but I just had a great time. And Tweetsie and Ashley are always a vibe. Like, I love hanging out with them. I had to leave early. And the only reason that I had to leave early is because I told y'all my man is here and I can't leave him hanging. So um, I don't know if y'all been seeing all of those memes where the girls have been saying um, um, outside, uh, being outside is canceled. I'm hustling this summer or they've been saying I'm inside, you know, like basically saying they're in a relationship whatever may have you so i'm gonna keep it a book with y'all i'm gonna be honest i was team um i'm gonna be inside this summer i ain't gonna lie i was like yeah it's looking like i'm gonna be inside like i'm just trying to run it up and not even really trying to be out and on the scene like that but i'm not gonna lie i have been going out probably like the last three nights this week back to back and i'm kind of remembering why i like going outside and most importantly why I love Atlanta like um I'm gonna do a whole video on this so I'm only gonna touch on it briefly but a lot of people especially people who don't live here have been talking about how Atlanta's not the same Atlanta's not the same and I'll be the first to tell y'all as somebody who is completely from here have lived here all my life um I don't think anybody can say Atlanta's not the same that has that was not here during them Edgewood days, during them Peter Street days. If you didn't celebrate your 21st, your 20th birthday at, on Peter Street or Edgewood, you cannot say Atlanta is not the same. Now, people who did, yes, they can because, um, and I don't want to go in depth because I'm literally going to make a video that's going to come out this week. I'm going to detail what I'm talking about, but just in case you don't tune in, I'm just going to tell y'all a little bit what, I, what, what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to also talk about like, um, what's going on right now in the city of Atlanta is um, they're shutting a lot of black businesses down and um, again me doing research and talking and I'm gonna expand more on that on my video but I really feel like they're targeting us and what I mean by us I mean black people in general because one thing I've always told you guys Atlanta is the black mecca it's a reason the people who move down here and be saying like they leaving and Atlanta played out and they don't like Atlanta no more I'm trying to tell y'all like it's it, it's, it's like if you come into Atlanta for a weekend, you're going to have a ball. Like, on the weekends, it's always something to do. But li living here is very different from moving here or just being here for a weekend. It's very different. Um, but if you're coming down here to grow your business, if you're coming down here to be successful, this is the place to be. Atlanta is the place to be, honey, when it comes to black excellence. And I will tell y'all that each and every time. And I, the only thing is I do think the city is changing in a way where um, I just know a lot of my favorite places that I used to patronize have been shut down and it's due to silly stuff like them not having the proper licenses. Um, if you have more than one, um, a, uh, like a, um, damn, what's the word? Not occasion, um, one more than one, um, altercation. Thank you. I had to think of it. You have more than one altercation at your club or at your establishment. They're shutting you down, and I feel like that's all a part of them trying to move us out. They're trying to move us out. We've dominated and we've taken over this city, and they're looking for ways to get us out, and that's like the easiest way. Just say, hey, if you've had more than one incident happen at your club where the police were called, we're just going to shut your business down. So that's kind of what's been going on here in my city, and it is heartbreaking because, like I told y'all, so many people have moved here and just kind of like, they're, everybody I know who's not from here, that's like popping it's like you're popping because you moved to this city like this city will either make or break you um it's not for the week and it also depends on what you're moving here for but anyway i don't want to like bore y'all with that um i just came back to say i had an amazing time um when i do go out i have a blast it's all about what you make it and it's all about you know who your friends are this and that all of that stuff plays a factor and that doesn't matter if you in Atlanta, LA, Miami, Dubai, Costa Rica. It does it's all about who you're there with, honestly. But anyway guys, I'm about to head home. We about to head back out. I think we going to a strip club. Y'all know I love the strip club. I'm sorry I got y'all in the dark. I know y'all probably hate when I vlog in the dark but 
I'm just trying to talk to y'all really quickly before I head in the house, but I'm gonna see you guys in a little minute. Hey y'all and happy Saturday. So I am in Ashley store furniture looking for me a dining room table set y'all. So um, I'm gonna let y'all know what I end up getting but um, I just don't know if I want to do something gray or if I want to do something um, just like another pop of color. I definitely don't want nothing this big. I feel like that's way too big for, I just don't want the area to be super crowded. I kind of want to leave space because I think I want to add like, um, kind of like something like this right here up against the wall. Not nothing too crazy, but I kind of want to like have a little area. You see how this is set up? This is like my vision for how I want the kitchen to look like. I want something in that corner there, maybe something against that wall or maybe not. And then the table to literally sit right there. So I don't want anything um, gaudy and just too much. So anyway, I will continue to show y'all what I end up seeing in here. But a lot of you guys have been asking where did I get my um, couch? This is where we got the couch from. So I just wanted to kind of give y'all an overview of like what I'm looking for and just trying to see. But like, if for example, y'all let me know if this is too small. This is the first one he showed me. Now I don't like the chairs, the chair is gonna stay. But I don't mind the table. I just don't want nothing too, too big. But this may be a little bit too small for what we need. But it's like, you see how that's already the same color as my kitchen. So, um, Anyway, I'm just trying to figure out what's the best case scenario for the house. This right here, I looked at this too. This is too tall. Literally, my um, chandelier literally sits right on my head. So I don't want anything that's going to be too high up. So I definitely will need something that sits a little bit lower. So we're just going to go from there and see what we can get. And then we'll figure something out. But I just wanted to show y'all so y'all can get an idea of what everything in here looks like. Um yeah i'm gonna come back this is the one that my man likes y'all and i'm gonna be honest he almost sold me into getting this one but the only issue i have is and this is just me y'all let me know how y'all think but i'm a person where i feel like that dark stuff be making that house dark and i don't want that like especially somebody coming from an apartment where i just had kind of like that dark flooring and I saw how it just made my house more dark I don't really want that I do love this set but I'm just not sold so then we looked at this one and I was like okay you know I can rock with this one it's it's still light enough and dark in the same breath and it'll still give us like that look right um only thing is you know it's not really a a a, a con to it i just don't know i don't know y'all know i initially wanted something round and then this is the buffet that comes with it i feel like this is cute it's modern it has the sliding drawers it's you know it's it gives that look but then i came over here y'all and i saw this one and i'm not gonna lie i think we're just gonna go with this one um to me it looks the most different it got that look and I just kind of want something in the home that looks, you know, I just think something round. I feel like everything in my house right now is that, is that, um, you know, that square. I just think the round is nice. And then it's like big. So we'll be able to, you know, sit and eat and vibe. And then this is the buffet that it comes with. Um, I don't, this is probably my least favorite buffet one that we've looked at, but it's okay because once I find things to go on top and decorate it up, I think it's going to look nice. And y'all know I'm going to get a big round, um, mirror to go there. So it's not going to be rectangle, but I think this is the one we're going to go with. So what do y'all think? Let me know. I mean, I know it, by the time y'all see this, it's going to be over with. But I still want to know what you guys would have picked. But to me, this one is the better choice. Okay, y'all said y'all wanted to see everything I got from Amazon and Target. It's all here. So stay tuned. Happy, 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 happy Father's Day to everyone out there. So... 
As y'all can see, my mom, my dad, and my brother are here, and they're in the background. But I wanted to show y'all, so I ordered these from Amazon to go for my dishes and my um, hand soap. Oh, Lord, I'm doing the porn is too quickly. So right now, I'm just transferring all of my dish liquid into this because this is now where everything is going to live. Now, this color is like so dark, so it's like whatever. But the next time we have to read, we'll get something clear to create a look. But you need something to distinguish so it's like easier to know which one is which. So yes, y'all, this is the new, um, just new thing, honey, we add to the house. What happened? It was so much work. I could never do this. I needed them to do this. <laughs> Let's go up. Go up. Now come down. Ooh. So I'll come down. Come down. Okay. Do it on both of them? Yes, Okay. So Wow. This is perfect. Yay! Coming along. You know, her, you gotta get, get some, get that sticky stuff. The off. sticky stuff. Show y'all how the pictures look. They came out really, really nice. Decided to switch this up and show y'all what the idea my mom came up with. I think this is really cute. I'm gonna put something down there. Let me show y'all. I think it looks really, really good. I like this a lot. And then I bought the end tables. I'm gonna get something to go on there. So that'll be the next piece. What's popping, y'all? And happy, happy Juneteenth. Shout out to all of my black kings and queens, y'all. Today is the day um, that we celebrate our freedom. Um, my friend Toy said it best. Freedom was not free, and um, I'm just so happy to be black and being able to enjoy my blackness. Um, and thank you to all my ancestors for what you did and how you paved the way for me to be able to, again, enjoy my life. So I really, really appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and I just want to start the vlog off like that. But anyway, today is Monday, y'all, and I'm off work. Thankfully, I have a job that knows what the going on so we're off today but um last night i think i showed y'all a little bit of me and the things that i bought from my home and getting it set up but i want to go ahead and show you guys the living room right now so okay so i was just sitting there which is why that's looking like that but just don't even pay attention to that pay attention to what is new so um i got this set right here from target this um end table here and then it also comes with this small one that is right here but yes yeah, so i got those and then i also got this right here from target and this is from target this is oh wait hold on y'all i'm trying to make it why is it okay well y'all see what i'm pointing at but right here both of these things are from target and so is that little um uh, uh holder stand that it, the my flowers are sitting on that is also from target and so is this this is also from target so i kind of went target crazy because you know i just wanted to make sure you know i had what i needed but i actually think i said this wrong this is from amazon so this also this came from amazon this came from amazon and this is what the living room looks like right now I finally finally got my pictures up y'all love how that looks it just looks so clean over there now and this is where the other one is it's sitting up here so i took y'all advice and i moved my greenery so that it can just these pictures here can just be standalone kitchen new my here are some of my new kitchen items so this is all that i added from the last time you guys saw this so i added that i think that just i think that did it i think this is done 
um i think this looks really really good and i love it so let's come over here y'all saw me putting this a little bit together earlier in the vlog but then um i still have not added um any detergent into the hands i probably am gonna put this in there that's probably why it's sitting there but i bought that and then i also got this little rack right here this is what i'm going to use when i hand wash my dishes so i'm just going to leave it there for now but it does fold up so um i can just put it up at any time but i'm just going to leave it there because i like the way that it looks i think it goes with my kitchen i just have to get one more thing probably to sit here um, I think I'm going to get something black to sit here and then I'll be done with that. So um, that is also what is new. And then the last thing, but definitely not least, is I got this mirror. Now, this mirror came from Amazon and I love it. Um, I'm switching it up. A lot of my mirrors usually are just your standard rectangle mirrors. But I was like, I kind of I'm feeling like the circle look. So y'all tell me how y'all feel about this. This mirror size is a 32 by 32. Um, I really could have got a 34 by 34 now that I look at it. But yes, I love this. I feel like this is cute. It's giving me that look. If I want to come, take me a little cute picture or something, you know, I can do that. So um, this is all I got so far. Um, I did. Um, I also um, bought a new bed comforter and i bought some decorations to go into my master bedroom upstairs which y'all know how i am about youtube and sharing like y'all know i don't mind sharing stuff and like kind of showing y'all how things are going with my home but i don't want to overshare um i feel like that's when shit starts going left and that's not what this is about i just kind of want you guys to see how I decorate my space right now my space feels very zen very clean neat the one thing i do have to do is figure out um what i'm going to sit on top of my end tables so that'll be my next purchase um y'all saw in the vlog my um dining room table set will be here soon and so that'll be the next room that I'll be getting together. It's my dining room, table room, and then that's it. I think I'm going to buy a few more pictures to go in my staircase um, well, my stairwell. And um, probably like the opening, like as soon as you walk in the house, I'll get some pictures to go there. And then after that, I'm done. Um, I am so mad, y'all. So I ordered this mirror to come from Target, and it came cracked i'm so mad it's, it's supposed to go in my room so it's cool i'm just gonna take it back today and get my money back um hopefully i can reorder it but when i looked on looked online for it y'all it's already doing up 20 more dollars and i'm like no i'm not paying 70 dollars for this mirror like not when i knew it was 50 when i bought it i'm not paying 70 dollars. so um long story short that's probably what i'm going to do today um and yes so those of you guys enough house stuff for now let's talk so those of you guys who um love black mirror tell me why it's five new episodes out right now sis yes five new episodes are out right now so um i have been in dog heaven i've watched three of them three three or four I've watched three or four, so no, no, probably three. I think I have two left, and then I am home free. But when I tell y'all, I am obsessed with Black Mirror. I love Black Mirror so much, so I'm I'm having a blast. If you guys haven't or have not, go ahead and shop the Everything Shop Drop. Everything is 35% off in celebration of Juneteenth. Um, unfortunately, the jackets y'all loved are sold out. They went. I'm blessed and I'm stressed because I'm like, oh, my God, I hope... Some of my subscribers were able to get some. Uh, my Instagram village be going crazy. I'm not going to lie. But yes, y'all, they're sold out. But it's other good stuff on the site, too. So make sure y'all go and check it out. But anyway, y'all, I think what I'm about to do is go get me something to eat, kind of relax and chill. And then I'm going to try to head to Target to take this uh, mirror back. And yeah, I'm just going to enjoy my Juneteenth. So I'm going to see you guys a little bit later on today. I am back, so when I tell y'all I took me a thick nap, I took me a thick nap. I didn't even have time to watch um, another episode of um, Black Mirror. I've been asleep for like the last four hours, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what's wrong with me, like 
if I hadn't have just had like my cycle, I literally would be thinking I'm pregnant. Like I'm not even trying to be funny. I've been so tired lately and I just don't know why, but anyways, I'm up now. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all, as y'all can see, I am about to make me some ribs. I just, today is Juneteenth. I just, I'm in the mood to cook and I haven't made ribs in such a long time. I'm gonna wash this um, meat off um, before I, well, I'm gonna wash the meat off and then I'm gonna come back because I don't want all that water going on in the background. But yeah, I haven't had ribs in such a long time and I'm feeling ribs. So I don't think I'm gonna cook all of these. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a few. So I actually may do, um, the bigger slab, I might do the bigger slab that way. It's like not too, too much because I'm a leftover girl, but not really. So I hate just like one, two, three. Yeah, I think this is, let me see. I hate just cooking a whole lot of food and knowing good and well that I'm not gonna be eating all that like over the week. So I tr I'm trying to make it to where it makes sense. Okay. I'm gonna try to have to zoom in so that y'all can see this part. But y'all see this right here? The key to having your ribs falling off the bone, you have to take this part off. Like this is like the, I don't know. I, I don't really know what it is, but I know when I first cooked ribs for the first time, um, like the bed, like years ago, I don't think I took that off. My ribs was busting, but I like them to fall off the bone. You see how I'm just peeling it? You have to, Get it with a knife or get it with your hands, but you want to pull. You see how it's just coming up naturally? It's not supposed to be there. No, I'm just kidding. It's supposed to be there, but it's just like, if you want your ribs to be falling off that bone, you got to pull that off, baby. In my uncle, in my uncle eat boys. You got to pull that off, baby. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing first. And then I'm gonna make my um, little concoction and let it marinate a little bit. I should have been, do, been done this, y'all, but I'm not gonna lie. I was so daggone sleepy. Like, I was so, 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 so sleepy, and I just was like, yeah, I ain't gonna make it. I had to lay down. But, okay, y'all, I just wanted to come back real quick and show y'all that. So you just you just keep going until you know that, that film, I guess you can call it film. Take that film off, like that layer of that skin. Um, take that off so that your ribs can just be literally falling off the bone. That's the goal. Okay, so after you have washed your meat in all of its glory, y'all want me to bring y'all closer? After you've washed your meat, you want to pat that thing dry. Like, you just gonna have to get a whole bunch of paper towels and you want to pat it dry. Um, the reasoning, again, I always, I just know to do this, but it's like a method behind it. I guess it's just to make sure your maybe your season, seasonings soak in better into the meat. Um, if it's too much water, it just kind of like rub the seasonings off. That's the reason why I think people say do this. But nonetheless, you just want to make sure you get all that excess water off. It's still going to be some water. You're not ever going to be able to get all of it out in one pack but you just keep going until you feel like, okay, I got enough of it all. So now I have grabbed my seasonings of choice. Um, so I'm gonna start with my salt, which also is something I don't put, I don't put a lot of salt on my food, but at one point I had completely stopped salting my food, right? Except my eggs, I always salt my eggs. But I just, you know, was using my seasonings and I'm not gonna lie, that salt make a difference. Like just getting away from salt, it's like, eh, maybe it helps with like your sodium intake, things of that sort, but I ain't gonna lie, that salt, that salt be added to that flavor. So I still salt it just a little bit because that salt in that food, it, it, it be making a difference. Like I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just putting just a little bit on there. Like that's all I'm gonna put as far as salt, just so we can have that base. And then I'm gonna always start with my black pepper. It's like your basic seasonings. If you go to like a real restaurant, like one of those upscales, they'll tell you the main ingredients they use to season their food with is salt and pepper. 
Like, they don't be using all them seasonings and their food still be bomb. So it's like, that's always something to think about when you're seasoning your food. You ain't got to always go too, too hard, depending on what it is. And since these are ribs and I'm gonna make kind of like my own version of barbecue honey sauce to go with my ribs, I'm just gonna still season it the F up because I, I want, I like my food to naturally taste good without any sauces or anything like that. This one right here is my all-purpose seasoning, y'all. This is my favorite seasoning in the whole wide world. Like, I'm about to go nuts with this seasoning, I'm not gonna lie. This shit is so good. Like, I don't know if I got this out of Walmart or whatever may have you, but it was, it's just bussy. Like, it's, it's top tier. So I love seasoning my food with this seasoning. So I'm just gonna make sure I heavily season both sides and make sure I'm about to rub all this seasoning into my meat. Yes, you wanna make sure you pack the seasonings into the meat after you season your food. Then I'm gonna get my Tony's saturates and bring a little bit of that red color into my food. The red coloring, it's always a nice touch. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder to my ribs. Add an onion, onion y flavor. And right now I'm just scraping it. Make sure the sides are also getting that seasoning. And that's it. Now our ribs are completely seasoned. And what I'm about to do is, after I finish digging into the meat, I'm gonna let it sit for just probably another 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. Okay, I have put our food inside of the tray it's gonna be cooking in. I added just a little bit, when I say a little bit, like a cap full of water and um, vinegar at the bottom. And yeah, we're gonna let this cook on through. So we're gonna add our loom full. And yeah, so. I probably, I had this on preheated at 400 because I wanted to cook a little fast. Um, not too fast, but just a, not take too much, too long. I'm just gonna cook it on an hour, every side of an hour is probably what I'm gonna do. So it is literally nine o'clock on the diet. Yes, I'm cooking this late, y'all. I, I can't believe I did this to myself. I was literally supposed to just find a way to make this a full day, but baby, it's all good and this vlog is coming out tomorrow, which is Tuesday, so this is what I was doing the night before. Okay guys, so I am going to come back to y'all later on. The sides that I am making, which now I'm kind of like, do I want to make those sides still? It's not going to take me no time to do it, but I want to make me some mac and cheese, homemade baked mac and cheese, and then um, some green beans. And I want to do a cornbread, but I ain't gonna lie, the cornbread, I ain't gonna lie, I just, right now, I don't think the cornbread is gonna get made. It's way too late. I had no idea at, what time I left the house today? Like three o'clock? That I would be coming home and be asleep for four hours. That's crazy. I ended up buying these at Publix. So um, I'm honestly about to drink one and just vibe and watch the show I told y'all about. And probably, I'm probably gonna wait until after I flip it over after the first hour. That's when I'm gonna start making my mac and cheese and my green beans and then we'll be done. Okay y'all, so this is only one hour, but I just want y'all to see how they looking so far. So now I'm about to turn them over so that they can cook on the other side. This is the box that I be using. I use this box because um, it always is easier to measure out how many noodles I need and then I use the cheese and then I add in my own cheeses, some milk, egg, and salt and pepper and that's how I do my mac and cheese. If you have a better way, sis, let me know in the comments but you know like when you just make too many noodles, I don't be having time for that so have, buying the box helps me make my meals proportional if that makes sense. See what I'm saying? This is all the box noodles, so proportional. So now I'm gonna take my cheese and I'm gonna just pour all that in there. Let me scrape it real quick, y'all. 
one egg. See, I got my egg, and then I'm a. I'm just about to mix this up really, really good. Okay, so your mac and cheese needs to float a little bit. Like, it's not supposed to be like you're supposed to be able to see them bubbles in there. If you ain't seeing them bubbles, and if it don't look like they in there chilling like a sea of them, then it's not enough milk egg cheese whatever you put into your noodles is not enough so this is what it's supposed to look like um so now we're gonna put our sharp cheddar cheese on top and then i am gonna go ahead and put this in the oven okay y'all this is what everything is looking like look at that i'm barely touching it and it's just doing what it's supposed to like i'm not even going hard and the meat is Tender, it's falling off the bone. You got that look. Mmm. Bless him. So, I'm going to leave it uncovered and let it go in for about 20 more minutes. And then I'm going to add my glaze. We got the glaze going. I added a little Worcester sauce and ketchup to this honey barbecue sauce. Bless him. So, yeah, it's looking like it. Let me turn the light on for y'all so y'all can really see what the going on. Do y'all see them ribs? The ribs are like, they literally are falling off the bone. Mac and cheese is done and ready to rock in the green beans, y'all. The only thing that's missing is some cornbread. So I think I'm gonna make that. And then yes, this is my Juneteenth meal. Shout out to us. Good morning guys. We're headed into work today. Um, and I'm listening to the radio and um, I see that it's like this podcast and they posed a question. They said later on this week, they'll be diving deeper, but they posed the question, which is worse, being cheated on or being embarrassed? And um, I said, hmm, that's a good little car chronicles conversation to have with my um supporters like to talk to y'all about so i was like let's let's dive into that so um which one is worse being cheated on or being embarrassed now if i have to be honest that's a extremely hard choice i don't think it's like completely just oh it's cheating you know i i mean obviously that's what you want to say like oh yeah for sure cheating but now I'm just I'm just trying to think of both because I've actually been in both situations. I've been cheated on and I've been embarrassed. And um, this gonna sound bad, but I'm gonna be honest, y'all. The one that made me be straight, the one that made me say, "Yeah, I'm up out of here," is the being embarrassed. I have told y'all this story on my channel before about the time when my um, ex boyfriend. Um, one of my ex-boyfriends, not my last ex, because I want to put it into perspective. But one of my exes um, was on Facebook sliding random girls DMs saying he want to eat date and just doing all kind of saying craziness and and like was like just didn't care, didn't have any thought or care or concern for how that would affect me, how that would make me feel like yeah and i was so embarrassed because I, if y'all remember the story it was hundreds of comments so so many people had so much to say some people even knew who i was and was like oh she just be posting him and she be letting the world know that's her man meanwhile he's sliding people dms trying to proposition and only one person out of all probably like five people who knew me personally on the post only one of them stepped up and said hey girl i'm not trying to ruin your day this was literally the day before my birthday too when this happened y'all so it was a mess like i was a distraught i could not believe this was happening to me but long story short she was like hey girl i'm coming to you you know not as a woman because she wasn't messing with him he didn't slide in her dms but she was like i know this your man and i just want you to know i'm not gonna lie like did I leave him immediately after that happened? No, it takes time. Like, anybody who sits back and says, yeah, on the first offense, I was out of there. I mean, I feel like that's cap. I think that 
to in order to truly leave somebody and be done you have to have already felt that in your soul um it's not something that just happens overnight oh he cheated and i'm out of here like if that's the case and you truly didn't love that person you truly didn't want to be with them and that's okay too right but more so what i'm saying is um i was embarrassed i got em embarrassed af um, another time I got embarrassed, I remember this was like my first love. Let me tell y'all something. If I don't tell y'all nothing else on this channel, never get a man or woman, if you date women, whatever you got going on, don't get their name tatted on them nails. Do not ever get somebody's name on your nails. Like, when I tell you, even Iman will tell y'all this too, because we both suffered from the fate of this. Like, it, it's like, as soon as you get a man named put on them nails hell i'm even gonna say it, even if you get a man named tatted on you it's almost like the universe be like yeah it's over with let's go ahead and wrap this thing on up it's a wrap it's so you know what i'm saying like it's done like i don't know what it is but i feel like i've never done it again i'll tell y'all that it's like literally and it's also you know what i kind of have some trauma around my birthdays y'all because this same thing happened too. Um, I think it was the very first time my mom was like, yeah, you can get your nails done. I was like, what, 16, 17? She's like, yeah, you can get your nails done. And I went and got them nails done. I got that man name on them, on that um, marriage finger, on both marriage fingers. Sure, sure enough, the very next day, I'm in church and I'm minding my business and I find out that he's cheating on me with a girl who knew that I was his girlfriend. Like, it was crazy. She was one of them, oh, y'all look so cute kind of bees. And so it's that'd be the worst when your man cheat on you with somebody that knew y'all was together. That'd be the worst, y'all. I don't wish that on nobody. It's one thing to be a random girl and, you know, you just so happen to love or fall into it with this guy. But if I went to school with you and you know who I am 100%, I feel like you was plotting on me the whole time, sis. Like, what's up with that? But anyway, y'all, I'm saying all that to say, um, I don't know. That being embarrassed be crazy. But getting cheated on is also very bad. Like, um, the times that I've been cheated on and I actually found out about it, I thought he was about to hit me. I'm like, man, not, not me getting hit on the vlog, child. But, um, anyway, like, the times that I've been, um, cheated on, um, uh, every time... I've been cheated on. It's like I'm not gonna say I become more. I become more and more desensitized to it. But essentially, that is what has happened. Like um, I just feel like it. it I don't know. I don't want to say I'm ignorant on this channel. But like I said, if if we all can be serious and think, you know, logically about relationships and what you are to somebody and what they are to you you're not gonna be done every single time somebody cheats on you now multiple times multiple cheating offenses that's very different but i'm saying like so if you're in a relationship with one guy hell he may just cheat one time and you be like oh bye but you're also depending it on like what he does for you if he's a good man does everything else that he does or he has done match up right that's something else you think about when you're like oh i'm out i'm done but if you're dating somebody and um you know they are doing what they supposed to be doing and they taking care and they making sure you know you may think a little differently or maybe if you have children sorry y'all i'm literally right next to the construction but like or maybe if you have children with somebody and you're like oh you know i don't know if i necessarily want to be a single mother now behind this maybe we can work something out you know maybe i'm willing to overlook this but one thing i will say though when it comes to being embarrassed or cheated on i will definitely say like you have to learn to move forward. I think the worst thing that us females do is we forgive or we say, okay, we're going to stick around. We'll stay in a relationship. But we keep bringing it up. Like, it's a never-ending thing. So, um, hopefully, I don't ever have to go through another cheating um, scandal. I haven't been cheated on in years, to my knowledge. And I'm going to absolutely say to my knowledge because men do what they want to do, honey. And they do. But, um yeah i don't know y'all to to answer the question is cheating or being embarrassed worse both of them are worse i mean, both of them are, are equal in my book but if i had to say the one that 
push you in a hard place, like meaning a rock in a hard place, it's definitely that being embarrassed. That being embarrassed is something else, but. But yes, y'all, so um, let me know y'all take on it, which is worse, being cheated on or being embarrassed. Um, I'm about to run in the post office, and then I'm about to officially head to work. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to see you guys later on this week. And yes, I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I love y'all. Bye.